And uh, the Gates has been to El Salvador. Matt Gates. Matt Gates. You know, he's buying property. All the smart money is going to El Salvador. All the smart politicians are going. So it's only a matter of time before the orange pill drops and the Donald makes his way to San Salvador. Lightning Labs, the Bitcoin Lightning Network scalability solution provider, released a set of tools this month to help developers create AI chatbots that can send and receive messages. Since the successful and viral launch of OpenAI Chat GPT in 2022, Bitcoin chatbots have become immensely popular. Like all technological innovations, the artificial intelligence landscape is about to get even bigger and better. Agentic AI, a new paradigm in the area, promises to transform autonomous systems from passive models to ones that can perceive, analyze, engage, and perform tasks without human intervention. Agency AI will make AI truly autonomous using Lightning Lab's new tools to explore difficult situations and complete jobs. ARK Invest founder CEO and CIO Kathy Wood spoke at the Bitcoin 2024 conference in Nashville about the immense capabilities of these new AI models and the convergence of artificial intelligence and blockchain technology. Chatbot developers will be able to build Bitcoin payments directly into their AI applications, potentially making Bitcoin the main currency of the AI revolution. Kathy quit her job at Alliance Bernstein and started AR Invest during her fireside chat with Elias Ken at the Nashville conference because she believed in the potential of five disruptive innovation platforms. Kathy said the disruptive impact of blockchain AI robots energy storage and gene sequencing will be more explosive than she expected and happen faster, with Bitcoin and Lightning Labs to ease payments at the center. Kathy expects this explosive force to drive cryptocurrency prices up, with the leading crypto asset reaching $1 million in less than six years. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more videos Analogy like that this. that I like is Bitcoin as gunpowder. So um, the, if one country adopts gunpowder, then you really have to adopt gunpowder as well to get into this um, paradigm of uh, mutual assured destruction or survival. And now we're entering into the global hash war or the global Bitcoin war, which I wrote about five years ago, when everyone was saying that, oh, all these countries are going to ban Bitcoin. I said, no, in fact, it's the opposite. They're all going to embrace Bitcoin. They're going to competitively mine Bitcoin and hoard Bitcoin uh, because it becomes a new uh, back global Bitcoin standard. And we'll see every fiat money go to its long-term value of zero. Uh, it's demonetizing gold. You see that in the ETF market. People are dumping gold ETFs and buying Bitcoin ETFs. It's demonetizing the stock market. It's demonetizing the bond market. It's demonetizing the property market. It's demonetizing the fine art market. Everything goes to zero against Bitcoin. Everything goes to zero against Bitcoin. So any, anything you hold as an asset, it's the purchasing power relative Bitcoin is going to go down. And um, so this is the realization that's creeping into the minds of folks who have been observing Bitcoin for a while. The political class is really interesting to see so many politicians up here talking about Bitcoin. They have the talking points and they sound good. Uh, I don't think they've given it a deep thought yet because it disintermediates politicians. Because not only will the central banks be disintermediated by Bitcoin, but so will the nation state as we know it. So the nation state will dissolve as well as the central banks and we'll have a new, and we already see this in El Salvador. President Bukele is already looking to the future of a decentralized governance model that's no longer going along with the 300 year tradition of the central bank model that we were used to. He's decentralizing. People call President Bukele a dictator. No dictator would give his people the ability to own Bitcoin, an unconfiscatable give, that gives you self-sovereignty. That's the opposite of di dictator, right? So, you know, this is what I suggest people who are going to speak English look at, up a dictionary for the definitions before they open their mouths and say these words because they're use incorrectly using them. And But come to me and I'll help you. And if, in fact, you don't take a suggestion, then I'm happy to get more um, forceful. Kathy is very optimistic about these platforms for disruptive innovation and thinks they could grow by 40% every year during this business cycle. ARK's research also suggests that the market value of these platforms will rise from $13 trillion in 2024 to over $200 trillion by 2030, creating huge opportunities for everyone, 
especially investors who get in early. Additionally, Kathy is very optimistic about AI and blockchain and how they will work together to transform the way people live, work, trade, and plan for future generations. In her conversation with Elise, Kathy talked about how some AI large language models are already being used to help economies grow and make life simpler and easier in some parts of Africa. At the heart of this new ecosystem are the Bitcoin and Lightning Network payment tools that are being built. The Lightning team said in their announcement that smart AI agents would have to pay for their own resources and API calls. This is where the Bitcoin Lightning Network comes in. It could make payments cheaper, faster, easier, and machine payable. Here are some more clips. I, I think that, you know, Bitcoin is a magic mirror. And if you are of good character, it makes you even a better character. If you're a bad character, it makes you a worse character. If you look at somebody like a Craig Wright, the Bitcoin magic mirror revealed that he's a true scumbag. Boo! <laughs> right? If you're somebody like a Michael Saylor, the Bitcoin mirror exposed somebody with a high degree of integrity and a passion for education and a deep understanding of Bitcoin. Same thing in the political class. You know, you have a Cynthia Lummis who I think you can say gets it. You know, she's been orange pilled and she's working hard in politics to make positive things happen. Other people in politics who talk about Bitcoin will find out soon enough whether or not they're just being narcissistic, self serving assholes or whether they are genuinely hardcore Bitcoin or maximalists. You know, you know, nobody escapes the guillotine. You know, Bitcoin is the new guillotine of the 21st century. All the toffs who are posing and not really worthy of the power that they get. You know, you're gone. Goodbye. Bye. Have a nice day. You're going to be disintermediated and you're going to zero. Come on down, El Salvador. You're welcome anytime, uh, Donald Trump. And look and observe how Bitcoin country operates and works. It'll be an inspiration. I know Don Jr. has been to El Salvador and he's buying property in El Salvador. He's had great yeah. meetings with the president. And uh, the Gates has been to El Matt Salvador. Matt Gates. Matt yeah. Gates. You know, he's buying property. All the smart money is going to El Salvador. All the smart politicians are going. So it's only a matter of time before the orange pill drops and the Donald makes his way to San Salvador. I would just second that. You know, come on down and visit for a week or two and get to know the country. And I think, you know, you'll be pleasantly surprised. And um, a lot of people who visit end up living there. And the opportunities are fantastic. We're opening up a Bitcoin bank soon. So you'll be able to borrow against your Bitcoin, buy some property, and you've got both a rise in the property price plus your Bitcoin at the same time, plus you've got a brilliant place to live, plus building is about $150 per square foot, which is about 90% cheaper than you find anywhere else. So you've got the bank for the bank for the bank for your, for your Bitcoin. So it's really the opportunity of a lifetime. The, the restoration, you know what, and Bitcoin in El Salvador falls under President Bukele's policy of economic liberty. And that is very American in the concept. It's an enlightenment ideals of, of life, liberty, and property. And the security situation in El Salvador also falls under those same sort of thinking of the president. So when, when Trump did misspeak, I'll, I'll say he misspoke, and I think he'll probably correct himself here once he shows up and he speaks in front of this audience here, and then he'll see that um, this is President Bukele land here instead of, uh, you know, uh, somebody who hasn't yet proven himself in terms of Bitcoin. Um, so Bitcoin in El Salvador is economic liberty, and so was the, the security policy. But I, I mean, this seems way sooner than I expected, right? And I didn't expect the U.S. to be El Salvador's first follower because the United States will be our first follower, I believe. Um, but El Salvador is number one. We have the first mover advantage still. Um, I, I, we listened to RFK Jr.'s speech yesterday, and he was uh, great on, the, uh, on Bitcoin, really, really good policies on Bitcoin, and it's good... It's good that he's out there. It's good that RFK is out there um, because I know he was unfairly, undemocratically excluded from the Democratic Party uh, process of, of, you know, debating Joe Biden six or seven months ago when the world could have figured out that, well, the voter could have known then what they now know now and then instead be, you know, have Kamala Harris imposed on you. Together, Bitcoin and ag will bring about a new era of digital innovation. This union will also change the financial side of the internet, adding a much needed layer that wasn't there before. If everything else is going digital, there's no reason why our payment system shouldn't too.
Kathy also thinks that blockchain will not only help AI, but as other disruptive platforms continue to evolve, they will also feed the growth and development of the blockchain, which will lead to much higher prices for cryptocurrencies and other digital assets. Please let us know what you think about Kathy Wood's predictions and insightful analysis in the area below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post alerts to see more videos like this. Everything you do helps the YouTube algorithm and the channel's growth a lot. Thanks for watching.